Hello, in this video we're going to learn how to derive long-run average cost from a production function. So here's our production function. Output equals units of capital times units of labor. First thing we'll do is get the marginal product of labor. So taking the partial derivative of the production function with respect to labor, we get back K. And we get the marginal product of capital in this problem as L. To minimize cost for a given level of output, this condition must hold where the marginal product per dollar of for, per dollar spent on labor equals the marginal product per dollar spent on capital. And so we're going to substitute in for the marginal product of labor, K, and divide it by W the wage. And we're going to substitute in the marginal product of capital. We're going to plug in L, and that, again, is divided by the price of capital R. We're going to solve this for K. So K equals W divided by R times L. Now let's plug that result into the production function. Up here in the production function, where we see K, we're going to plug in this result. So for K, I got W divided by R times L, and then there's still another L here. So simplifying, we got uh, L squared now on the right-hand side. Multiplying through by R divided by W leaves us with this result. And now taking the square root of both sides to get rid of this L squared term, we take the square root of both sides and we get this result. I'm going to call it L star. Next thing I'll do is I'll take this result here for L and plug it into the production function. So where I see L, I will plug in this result. So doing that, I will now solve for K. Uh, the first thing I do here is I divide everything through by the divide everything through by the square root of Q. So we got Q to the one half over here on the right hand side. And now I'm going to divide through by q to the one half, so q divided by q to the one half on the left hand side just leaves us q to the one half. And then multiplying everything through by w divided by r raised to the one half power leaves us with this result. Okay. Moving on to the next slide, what we really found here, our names for what we found, the L star and K star, sometimes are referred to as conditional input demand equations or functions. Uh, the optimal level of labor here is conditional on the quantity of output. And likewise, the uh, demand for K, uh, optimal level of capital here uh, depends on the quantity of output as well. So setting up long run total cost is W times L plus R times K. We'll make a substitution into this long run total cost here with our conditional input demands. And we get this result. And you'll notice here we got W divided by W to the 1 half. So that'll just leave W to the 1 half in the numerator. And in a similar fashion, we got r divided by r to the one-half power, so that'll just simplify to r to the one-half power in the numerator. So with that step out of the way, we have this. And that'll simplify down nicely to this result here. And now we're ready to get long-run average cost. Long-run average cost is long-run total cost divided by q. So we have our long run total cost now and divided by Q. So Q to the one half divided by Q will leave us with just Q to the one half in the denominator. And we have our long run average cost equation. One thing you'll note here is Q increases. Since Q is in the denominator, as Q gets bigger, the long run average cost falls. So economies of scale are present. And I should have noted at the beginning that a production function displayed increasing returns to scale. The exponents on the capital and labor term sum to a number greater than one. So with this Cobb-Douglas production function, uh, I knew from the get-go we had increasing returns to scale. And as we see here, increasing returns to scale implies economies of scale. 
Okay, that's it. I hope you found this video helpful.